In the northern part of the Ivory Coast, coming from Burkina Faso, lives the Bilfo tribe, one of the least developed tribes in Africa. Their houses are called sukalas, and they are different from the ones found in this country. The sukalas are made of adobe. The top of the house is supported by wooden posts. Its size depends on how many family members there are. If it's a large family, the sukala is bigger. The flat roofs are used to dry the millet and the corn. And on the ground floor, they keep the cattle and the tools, obviously, since keeping the cattle on the flat roof would be absurd. The rooms are large and the kitchen has a courtyard for venting the smoke. In a kitchen niche, they keep their fetishes. It is the family sanctuary. All of a sudden, the women started to raise their arms. At first, I didn't understand what was happening, but then I figured it out. They were all heading to one sukala. Someone had died of malaria. Worst of all, it was a child. They started playing music right away. Death has a different meaning for them than for us. The dead person enters the spirit world and must leave in order to not interfere with the living. But to leave, the dead person must know, hence the music and the chants. To the Belfos, illness is a symptom that someone has put a spell on them, and to get well, they go to the witch doctor. The witch doctors, the most reputed healers of the Ivory Coast, invoke the spirits to remove the spell. Nonetheless, without quinine, it is going to be very difficult to save them. Here things work this way. It is a magical and contradictory world at the same time.